Hey, Mark from Sound Matters here with another vinyl video. And in today's topic, we're going to talk about how this accessory here that looks a little bit like a child's toy can actually help control static on your records. Okay, so for those who don't know, the products I'm talking about is called the Milti Zero Stat 3, which appears to be like witchcraft and it's an anti static gun, but it works pretty simply in that you squeeze the trigger very gently and it sends out positive ions, and then you release the trigger slowly and it sends out a whole load of negative ions. And that whole process neutralizes the surface that you're pointing the gun at. So the reason we want to control static is a pretty important one. So, you know, most of you will probably know that as soon as a record becomes statically charged, it pretty much acts like a magnet for every single dust particle within its facility, which is a pain in terms of keeping the record clean. But not only just that, but uh, records that are statically charged can also have an increased surface noise level as well. So it's imperative really that we keep static under control. So quite frustratingly, actually, you know, records are really prone to static build up by nature everything from the pvc material that they're made from to the process of putting it out of the sleeve and just spinning the record itself actually will generate static charge over time now the problem is more acute in drier climates so if you live in quite a wet mild climate like uh, i do like quite a, a humid kind of environment like in britain so where things it's quite wet all of the time static might not be quite so much of a problem for you but if you live in a very dry aired kind of environment then you might find that static is a real headache for you as a record collector so there are a few different ways that we can control static of course you know anti-static sleeves um, in terms of you know polyethylene um, sleeves like the mofi sleeves for example or by uh, you know new bespoke companies like vinyl storage solutions that we've talked about before will help you can you we could wet clean the record with something like groove washer and you know the process of um, wet cleaning a record will neutralize static so using liquid on a record will do that and then also of course using a carbon fiber record brush will help to control a little bit over time as well in terms of that will help to the carbon brushes will help to neutralize some of the static but the most effective ways really are by wet cleaning the record or by using an anti-static gun such as the multi zero stat now um, some people have sort of qualms about um, regularly using brushes or wet cleaning in, on a regular regular basis so if you find that static is a real problem in the area that you live and that you're finding your records get statically charged very often then you might find that something like the multi zero stat is going to be a way that is going to help reduce the amount of times that you have to use brushes and wet cleaning methods to help tame that static charge on the record so that pretty much explains it so yeah there are several ways that we can control static whether it be through liquids or you know using anti-static sleeves and also brushes carbon brushes but you know sometimes if we do live in a very problematic area it can be better to use the multi zero stat so from here all i'm going to do is take a record that is statically charged and demonstrate how the process works <laughs> Okay, so here we have a statically charged record and we can tell it's statically charged because if I take this Kleenex tissue here and just place it on the record surface, then you can see that it firmly holds the tissue in place. So the, the static electricity there that we need to get rid of when you can use the Milti um, Zero Stat to do so. And all we would need to do, being careful of course, is to gently push the trigger about 30 centimeters or 12 inches away from the record and slowly squeeze that trigger like so and then slowly release the trigger and that will then trigger the negative iron so slowly pressing the trigger as I said um, sends out the positive ions and then slowly releasing the trigger sends out the negative ions if you do it too fast it won't work it does it over a, um, a space of around i think 40 centimeters or um, 16 inches wide um but i like to do it in several places on the record surface right so i think that's about 30 centimeters 12 inches right there or thereabouts and so we're just going to do this a few times over the surface of the record just to make sure 
and then do the other side of the record as well. Okay, let's see if it's worked. So we'll take our tissue here and immediately the tissue falls off the record. The record's static charge has been completely removed. So thank you ever so much for watching. I hope that um, is useful to you. I hope you can see how that works and how simple it is. Always make sure you put the record in an anti-static sleeve after you finish this process and you put the record away into storage. Just try to minimise some of that um, kind of static build-up over time. Try and prevent it from happening too many times um, again. Of course, as I say, wet cleaning the record will help as well. This is a MoFi sleeve, or at least a very similar um, sleeve to MoFi in terms of the rice paper type design. Also recommend the sleeves by VSS Vinyl Storage Solutions. Again, I'll put a whole bunch of resources, including a link to the Zero Stat and a little bit more information over at the website so that you can check it all out for yourself. Um, thanks ever so much again for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this content. If you're new here, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you like the t-shirt I'm wearing, then head over to yoursoundmatters.com. There have been a couple of our t-shirt designs in this uh, video, visible in this video. A whole bunch of um, vinyl-related merch over at our store. Again, link in the description below. If you'd like to head over there and have a little browse at some of the vinyl-related merch, it'd be much appreciated. Love your support and we will see you in the next video.